Rescue teams are deploying today from the State Emergency Operations Center and heading to southeastern Texas. 91 people from 19 different agencies will be supporting local Texas authorities dealing with this historical aftermath of Hurricane Harvey. Don Champion shows us the floodwaters still rising. Torrential rains and flash floods submerged Port Arthur, Texas Wednesday morning as Tropical Storm Harvey slammed ashore. Every highway is closed, so we can't get out anymore. We can't evacuate. The town's mayor estimates 20,000 homes have water in them, and there is growing concern about some people getting trapped. On social media, some flood victims tweeted desperate pleas for help. The water is flowing in. People who fled to the city's civic center found even more misery. Everybody needs to start kind of going in that survival mode and start trying to get yourself to higher elevations. In Houston, the sun is finally shining again, but it could be weeks and even months in some places before the flood water recedes. For now, more than 30,000 people are packed into shelters across Texas. Michelle Lavin and her family had no cots to sleep on when they arrived at the city's main shelter, which was operating at double capacity. Houston wasn't prepared. The government wasn't prepared. The mayor wasn't prepared. Two more mega shelters are now open and officials say additional supplies are arriving daily. The federal government is in this for the long haul. We will continue to support the people of Texas. After two landfalls in less than a week and record shattering rainfall, Harvey is finally starting to lose some steam. Don Champion, CBS News, Houston. And many of you have been asking how you can help make an impact. News Channel 5 is partnering with the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee on a fund to help storm victims. More details on that can be found on our website, newschannel5.com. And country music star Chris Young was one of the first to step up days ago and pledge money for flooded out families. He had no idea at the time that this was already in the works. A prestigious invitation to join the Grand Ole Opry. Vince Gill was presenting the singer with gold and platinum certifications on stage and then surprised him to join the elite club in front of a stunned crowd at the Grand Ole Opry House. Chris gained his fame after winning the reality TV talent show Nashville Star about 10 years ago. The Murfreesboro native will be officially inducted come October. More news here on air and online throughout the day, but right now we'll send it over to Merrill. You can watch any one of the four Property Brothers series on HGTV and get some great design ideas as well as a big dose of fun. So when Jonathan and Drew Scott decided to write a memoir, you know you're in for a great read. Guys, welcome back to Talk of the Town. It's nice to have you with us. Always yeah, love nice hanging out you. with you guys. Yeah, well, okay, so let's talk about the book. It's called It Takes Two, which is the story of your life uh, in addition to being the title of, of the book. Let yeah. me clarify lives because just because we're twins doesn't mean we share a life. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we, uh, when we wrote our first book, Dream Home, it, it was a New York Times bestseller and it was very successful, but our fans said, you know what we really want? We want a memoir. We want to find out what makes you tick, what makes you the, the lovable weirdos that you are. And it's the good, the bad, and the ugly. We didn't hold anything out of this book. I mean, we go through some tough times as well. We didn't grow up with a lot of money. I mean, we didn't have silver spoons in our mouths. We had to work hard for every single success that we've had. Yeah, TV wasn't either of your original career plans. What did you both dream of doing first? Well, actually, for me originally, I mean, we were actors as kids. Uh, acting was my dream, and so I never thought in a million years about hosting. And it wasn't until we got, we got into real estate right out of high school as a way to fund our creative endeavors. Jonathan is an illusionist, me as an actor and a director. And then when I went back after these 10 years of real estate to get back into acting, I started getting host auditions as a real estate expert. Thought that's no, that's not what we want to do. I want to be yeah. an action superstar. Worst, worst show ever before Property Brothers. Drew was cast for a show called Realtor Idol. It was like American Idol for realtors. Oh no! It was yeah. the dumbest idea. I have a great voice. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, as you Nashville do. knows, but that was a terrible idea. <laughs> you've done some amazing other jobs too. I mean, you've been clowns. You've been flight attendants. You've sold hangers uh, door to door. Yeah. yeah we, that, so our very first business, we turned seven years old and our dad said, get a job. And so <laughs> we, uh, we were, I remember we were looking, no one was hiring seven year olds. So we thought, well, we can do something. We saw these craft hangers that are like nylon wrapped around hangers with a rosette. We started making them and selling them door to door. And then we met this woman who had a chain of American paraphernalia stores in Japan and she started buying them by the thousands. So we were like seven year old hanger empire gurus. That's, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It was fun. I mean, doing clowning, learning to be clowns from Parks and Rec and then performing. It was, there was always something. And 
we, you know, we tried to experience, we should be 100 years old for the amount of things we've done in our lives, but I, I love it. I mean, we're here to experience life. I, yeah. I think that's why if anyone is an HGTV junkie, they love HGTV, they love our shows, get on Amazon and get a copy of the book. It's available now, and you'll understand what makes us tick and how all these random stories fit together. Yeah, and it feels like a conversation with the two of you, too, because you each chime in on the other one's chapters, which is so fun. i got to ask you about your... Yeah, that was actually... Oh, go ahead. Go that ahead. was the hardest part, though, because to, to take everything you see in the shows, the bro banter, the competition, all the fun moments, and to put that into words, into the book with two voices, but the memoir really does capture that. Yeah. Your next season is going to be in Nashville, and we're excited about that. When can we see it? Yeah, they'll start airing right away. And, and the interesting thing is, so these episodes, the network has said this might be the best season that we have ever filmed of Property Brothers. So I wouldn't be surprised if they bring us back again to Nashville just because the stories, every house was completely different. It was, it was a blast. Good, good. Well, we want to see you back in the studio next time you're in town. And congratulations on the book, guys. It's so much fun to read. Thank you very Thank much. You. Look forward to seeing you guys. All right. So Drew and Jonathan Scott's new book is called It Takes Two, Our Story, and it's going to be released September 5th, available now on Amazon.